Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking over the year in review for 2022, what happened in the month of December, where is the market at? We're gonna look at the outlook for 2023, what's happening with inflation, and we're gonna quickly cover just a little bit on what's happening with the new immigration laws in the country. My name is Nick Damon, and I'm with the Damon Realty Group, and this is our monthly review. So one thing I really wanted to quickly cover is the month of December actually had a lot of surprises. The market was not following the trend that it had been for the last few months. And one of the reasons that that is, is you'll see that a new inventory of new listings is just way, way down. So we're actually seeing between 60 and 65% new inventory down month over month. And what that actually did was it helped us to hold prices a little bit strong. So even though the demand is drying up, and it definitely is, um, the lack of inventory helped keep pricing somewhat stable. You'll actually notice that in Burlington and Hamilton, the average home price actually went up in what people are calling the slowest market ever. And in traditionally December, which is also the slowest month, these two cities actually went up in price. And the reason is because there's just simply not enough homes, which is a tale I feel like as old as time that we've been chatting about when the market's crazy, there's not enough homes. And even when the market is slow, there is not enough homes. So. At the end of the day, it's really important just not to buy into all of the fear mongering that the media is doing. I've noticed a lot of articles coming out that are just not accurate, and not an accurate representation of what's happening. The main decrease in price has already happened. Uh, we, we went there already. Most areas are down 20 to 30% depending on the neighborhood. And now things are sort of really either dwindling down slowly or remaining the same. Um, Everyone that we've spoken to, the predictions for 2023, we spoke to all of our mortgage partners and people are sort of in, in the mind process that things are gonna really start to maybe switch around after the first quarter. So right now things are sort of hovering, maybe uh, going down a little bit slowly. And it really depends on what they do with these interest rates. If they stop the hikes, or if they actually decrease interest rate hikes, we will see a, a direct reaction from the market. Um, and I think that after the first quarter, based on what they're telling us, is that this could actually be a very real possibility. Okay, so we wanna switch gears for a second now. Let's have a look at what are they talking about with this foreign buyers not being able to buy homes. So I don't know if you've heard about this on the news, but this is uh, the reality of what's happening right now. So the government has made it so that new buyers uh, to the country, new immigrants are not allowed to purchase a home for two years. What does that actually mean? How is that going to affect us? Well, for rental properties, we are already in a very saturated rental market. The rental market's very competitive today, even without this rule taking effect. So now with all these new immigrants coming in, um, logic would sort of suggest that the rental market is gonna get even more pumped up, even more inflated. So I believe that rental prices, as this plan rolls out, are going to increase as we move into 2023. And I also believe that areas that really were heavy on forest foreign investment, like maybe downtown Toronto or the GTA. Um, it definitely will feel this a little bit, but there's so much demand in general there. Um, it's not like foreign buyers made up, you know, 50 or 60% of the market. It made up a very small percentage of the market. So we're gonna notice a little bit of a change there, but nothing that's gonna affect it too much. All right, guys, that's about it for now. Thanks so much for tuning into the video. Again, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, I would really appreciate you leaving a like or a following the channel. Uh, we're gonna be doing something like this every single month to keep all of our clients that trust and respect what we do up to date with what's happening in the market. If you wanna book an appointment with myself directly, there's actually a link in the link description below and you'll get direct access to my calendar and we can talk about buying, selling, whatever it is that you need. Until next time, We'll talk to you later.